Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this 2006 Mercedes-Benz CLK 500. And it's, it certainly is one of the best examples of a wolf in sheep's clothing I've seen in a very long time. You may ask, why would I, why would I say such a thing about a Mercedes 500 convertible? The reason why I'm saying this is because the CLK 500 from 2006 to 2009, though it was badged to 500, actually had a 5.5 litre V8 engine, and it was the all-new V8. It replaced the old 5 litre. And it has a staggering 286 kilowatts of power, coupled with a seven speed transmission. When you consider that a CLK 55 AMG from the year before had a 5.5 litre engine as well, and it's an AMG. And that only had about 270 kilowatts. And the early AMGs just had a five-speed transmission and were actually had a performance figure of 5.2 seconds from zero to 100 kilometers an hour. How fast does that make this car? But it's black with black leather interior. It's an avant-garde Every service has been done at Mercedes-Benz up until the big 100,000 kilometre service and it's got Michelin tyres. It's registered in New South Wales until October 2017 and they are quite a rare car. I'm sure you'll see plenty of CLK 280s and 350s. In fact, there's one just there. That particular car has done 190,000 kilometres and it's a V6. So a V8, like this car, with 114,000 kilometres, has got a very long life ahead of it. And tell you what I love about this car. It's got this incredible performance to it, but you can just drive it like a normal car every day. It doesn't get looked at by everyone. You don't get people trying to rev up and race you at the lights because it just looks like a Mercedes convertible. The only way really to tell if it's in any way a performance car is this little this little spoiler here when I picked up the car it said the average fuel consumption was 11.4 litres per 100 kilometres the moment it's saying 13 litres per 100 kilometres and uh, I actually picked it up and I drove it in this morning that's pretty impressive So you've got perform, absolute performance, reliability, it's a Mercedes-Benz, but you've also got good fuel consumption. And you can own this car for under $40,000. Wow. It's pretty impressive when you think about it. I know somebody bought a brand new E350 V6 in 2006. That was $158,000 with some options at the time. So I'd suggest that this car would be very close to $200,000 new, which I think is incredible value. And really to find similar performance in a convertible, you'd have to buy a Porsche 911. And if it was a standard one, I don't know if it would even be as quick as this car. And if it was an 06, 07, 08, 911 convertible, you'd be spending a lot more than what we're asking for this car. But you can also live with it every day. You can drive it to work. You can drive it to the beach. It's easy to get in and out of. 
you can actually sit people in the back. If you look in the back there, you've got nice big back seats. And if you look online, you'll see other CLK 500s. You might think, oh wow, gee, that's great value. That's, that's quite a bit less. I think you'll find it's an 02, 03, 04, 05, which has the 5 litre V8, which is a very good engine, very reliable. And they've still got 225 kilowatts of power, which is, which is still significant power but you can't compare them to this engine. I might put the roof up. All right, so we'll start it up. Saying there's a, just a minor A service due, or nearly due. It's got navigation, climate control, electric seats, memory seats, and pneumatic seats, parking sensors. So I'll put this roof on. So Mercedes has been making convertibles for a long time. They've certainly been making convertibles with an electric roof for a long time. There it goes, nice and quick. We'll have a look under the bonnet as well in a moment. I will turn the car off. I'll give it a little rev so you can see it's just doesn't sound like a HSV Commodore with a stainless steel exhaust system. It sounds great. Oh, and the other good, the other thing I'll say, I'll start it up again. It's got a seven-speed transmission. Um, it's got a button here, so it's got manual and sport and comfort. You got paddle shifts on the door, on the steering wheel here, I should say. So it says S here. That means it starts in first gear. If you just want to drive around normally and you don't really want it to take off like a rocket, you can just press this button. See how it says C? C is for comfort. Comfort means it's more comfortable to drive. It starts in second gear. Simple as that. And sometimes people advertise their cars, they may not know if it's a 5.5 or a 5 litre. They might just say, oh, 5.5, I'll just say it's got that. It goes pretty well. Just so you can tell, look at the engine, looks totally different to the old 5 litre. This car has just come into us. It hasn't been detailed, hasn't been buffed or polished, but still looks pretty good. But if you know what a 500 Mercedes is, from 2006 onwards, whether it's a CL or a CLK 500, and you've been looking for a 5.5 litre, I think you should definitely come and have a look at this car. I certainly don't think it's going to last very long. And it's a car we're very proud to offer you from the old timer centre in Marrickville. If you did not know about the 5.5 litre engine, like to find out more please feel free to give us a call my name's philip um, or you can go on car sales look at statistics or you can simply google it but if you do have any questions feel free to give us a call um, you can ask for me philip 95602 9569 and as you can hear a couple of planes have flown over we're located just 20 minutes from sydney airport thank you so much for watching and we look forward to hearing from you.